How's it going everybody? This is Manny from Low Tech. Today we're going to be looking at the L4T Ubuntu 3.3.0 build of Linux and how it performs on the switch, particularly with emulation. Real quick, we're going to go over the change log and some of the highlights of that and why it will be beneficial for emulation. So this is essentially a copy and paste of the short change log for 3.3.0. Right at the top, significant performance improvements. And then optimizations for the CPU the RAM and the GPU. Also a highlight, touchscreen improvements, and the swap file built in. And these are just highlights that I'm looking at as far as emulation is concerned. We also have deep sleeve power draw that's been fixed, the Joy-Cons and other devices that are not essential draining their power when the device is in deep sleep, that's all been resolved. And this list is pretty numerous, so there's a lot of different things that have been fixed and or improved. Also, when you installed 3.2.0, you needed to modify the application repos for updates and that has been now fixed so you don't have to do that a lot of the uh, weird quirks of 3.2.0 have been resolved with this update which is really nice so as we noticed performance improvements was first on the list so today we're going to be retesting gamecube games and comparing them to how they performed on 3.2.0 so i retested all the games on my previous video that I recently released for GameCube on 3.2.0, I retested all the same games, and you will see the 3.2.0 game play out first, then we will have the 3.3.0 game next. So what I can tell you right off the bat is you're going to see anywhere from 1 to 5 frames per second gain using 3.3.0 over 3.2.0. Now that this test... I use the exact same parameters, the exact same build of Dolphin, the same script that I used to build Dolphin on 3.2.0 was used on 3.3.0. I used the same overclock of 2 gigahertz, 4 to 3 is the aspect ratio. I used 1x resolution and skip EFB access to the CPU was enabled for all the games. Before we get into the gameplay, if you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit the like and subscribe buttons for me and that'll help to support the channel. And also, it'll let you know when more videos come out so you don't miss out on any of this emulation goodness.
volley of cannon fire. Andros' ships are being destroyed one after the other. Can't give up now. Andros' fleet is dead.
So for those of you that may wonder why the FPS counter on 3.2.0 was smaller, I have no idea. I used the exact same build of Dolphin. I really, all I did was just upgrade my 3.2.0 to 3.3.0 without doing a fresh install on this particular SD card because I already had my scripts and stuff and I didn't want to have to rebuild all of that. So I just upgraded it and it went from the little un barely readable to the larger. Don't know why, but just wanted to throw that in there. It is the same build. So after seeing all these games, you can definitely tell that there is definitely a performance gain. The games that were already running full speed, obviously you're not going to see much of a difference, but the games that weren't, you definitely saw that 1 to 5 FPS jump. 1080 went up by that, if not more, the audio cleared up, and in a lot of the games that had some audio stutters or slight hesitations, that went away, plus you got another 5 frames. So I can safely say GameCube, we're running better, and I anticipate that across the board. Even the OS itself feels snappier, more responsive, it definitely boots faster. It, it, this was a really, really good update. And again, shout out to everybody over on the L4T Discord that contributed to help make this possible. Definitely appreciate it. On that note, I'm going to call this video a wrap. I hope it was informative. I hope it was enjoyable. I want to thank everybody for watching, and I hope everybody has a great day.